Third World Studies Center evolved from an interdisciplinary colloquium of faculty members from different disciplines, brought together by shared perspectives, sensitive to realities in the Third World. On February 5, 1977, the Third World Studies Center began to operate as a program affiliated with the Office of the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. The program started out with a small resource collection, a research team, a production unit for supplementary instructional materials, and a physical center for alternative discourse. On March 29, 1979, the UP Board of Regents confirmed the Third World Studies Program and the College of Arts and Sciences did demand. In 1999, the College Assembly of the now College of Social Sciences and Philosophy, one of the colleges that emerged out of the disaggregated CAS in 1982, endorsed the formal recognition of the Third World Studies Program as a full-fledged research center of the college. This was officially approved by the UP Board of Regents on December 17, 1999. As a research center, the Third World Studies Center aims to develop critical, alternative paradigms to promote progressive scholarship and action for change by undertaking pioneering research on issues of national and international concern, creating spaces for discussion and dialogue, publishing original, empirically grounded, and innovative studies, and building a community of activist scholars and public intellectuals. The Third World Studies Center focuses mainly, but not limited to, the following areas from a multidisciplinary perspective, political economy and globalization, social movements, authoritarianism and democratic governance, peace and human security, culture and identity, and new media and technology. The center also gives emphasis to its duty as a university-based research center to set standards and skills and ethics in research, not only within the university, but also the country. The Third World Study Center's competence in dealing with these issues came from almost four decades of critical engagement with Third World realities, especially that of the Philippines. Before globalization became a tired buzzword of the millennium, the Third World Study Center has dealt with the political economy of globalization's previous incarnation, transnationalization. Since then, the center has trained various optics of analysis to untangle the strands of globalizing forces that impact on the Philippines. From countering neoliberal understanding of globalization with an analytic frame drawn from Marxism and allied critical scholarship, the Third World Study Center, in its recent studies, has started to dissect the liminal spaces of late capitalism and its political culture. It has conducted studies on digital piracy, sex scandals, and cybersex. The center's current research focuses on toxic cosmetics and biopolitics, the Philippine independent cinema, and new media and authorship. Before civil society became a preserve of the bored bourgeois and NGOs became slimy from Nepalese's pork, the Third World Study Center has focused on the democratizing potential of people's movements in an authoritarian state. In its scholarship, instead of simply believing the mantra that civil society saves, it looked at the broader and more powerful advocacies of social movements, from community organizers and trade unions up to the fratricidal conflict within the Philippine left. The center's decades-old engagement with social movements gave it a unique vantage point from where to rethink what frameworks from the social sciences have worked in understanding social movements and what remains unexplored. In the past couple of years, the strive to gain new understanding of social movements through memory studies and the politics of contested places of remembrance. The Third World Study Center's firm root in the country's anti-authoritarian struggle and unwavering belief in democracy and democratization enabled it to pursue compelling studies on these related socio-political subjects. It has also moved beyond the issues of freedom to issues of what would keep us free and at what cost. The Third World Study Center has scrutinized peace and human security issues and accounted for improvisations in policy and governance, thus bringing greater reflexivity to policy studies. In keeping with 
one of its goals to publish original, empirically grounded, and innovative studies. The Third World Studies Center, since 1984, has been publishing Kasarinlan, a biannual scholarly journal which is also uploaded online for free access to the public. The center has also made available online, again for free access to the public, the numerous publications it has produced. Aside from producing scholarly publications, the Third World Study Center has been building up an online repository of audiovisual material for free access to the public. Recordings of all training and advocacy activities can now be accessed online via the center's YouTube channel. Since 2011, the Third World Study Center has been hosting and supporting teams of students from the University of Montreal and the University of the Philippines, producing video documentaries on relevant political and socio-economic issues in the Philippines. The Third World Study Center creates spaces for discussion and dialogue for a community of activist scholars, public intellectuals, and other stakeholders, including students and the lay public, from crafting a series of public dialogues that directly engage the state and policymakers. The center has sought to deliver the articulation and analysis of various issues to where diverse and critical perspectives are needed the most. It has devoted much of its recent training and advocacy efforts to resonate with the youth, to capture and sustain the interest of this new generation, the future of the nation. The center has thus crafted numerous series of public fora and lectures, which fed, at the same time, into the online culture of this new generation. Through audiovisual documentation of training and advocacy activities spread across different Web 2.0 platforms, resource materials are disseminated, discussions are sustained, and even transformed into new spaces for further dialogue. The Third World Study Center builds and sustains a community of activist scholars and public intellectuals in maintaining strong institutional and individual academic linkages. It has facilitated numerous memoranda of agreement and understanding, transforming it into a hub for international, regional, and local scholars and practitioners, exemplified by its Avisting Research Fellowship Program. It taps into this established community of scholars and intellectuals to mentor early career researchers, junior faculty members, and graduate students throughout the research and publication process.
finally, it also caters to young individuals with a keen interest in doing academic research through its volunteer internship program. As the Third World Study Center pushes on its fourth decade, its resilience and excellence in research, publication, training and advocacy, and in building networks of scholars and activists would not have been possible without a dependable and knowledgeable staff. As they have nourished the center, the center has also provided them with a chance to excel. The Third World Study Center has been home to its staff and generations of scholars, a redoubt of critical academics and activists, and an undiminished space for engaged scholarship that has always spoken truth to power. This is the Third World Study Center. <laughs>